hello guys welcome again in this video we are going to learn how we can send the data from the form HTML form to the different form or also to the same file by using go language so let us start first of all I am creating a package main now I am creating a function main this function I am just uh, starting the HTTP server I say handler first handler function and I say root if somebody use root then we have to handle a function like uh, we can say student handler like this and now I have to run this server on port number 8080 and second thing is nil like this now I have to create this handler function I say func student handler like this and here I have to pass two variable first one is w for http dot response writer second one is r that http dot request like this so done now I have to create my template variable so I say tmpl and that would be template I say where should be template dot template like this now I have to create a function that will initialize this template so I say temp equal to template must then template dot parse file and here I'm giving a file uh, a student form or we say student info dot html so that would be my form in html so I save this and I create one more file I say student info dot html like this here I will make my html coding and I will design template also but first of all I am going to finish the coding here in this handler I will check that if the R is you can say method is equal to equal to if our method is not equal to HTTP dot method post if this method is not post because I'm sending a post then we have to uh, execute temp dot execute the code without any data nil like this else otherwise we have to read the data from the form into the structure so I just define here structure type student info struct I can say uh, SID string I say name so I keep S capital I keep N K A capital string then I say course for example string so I take this one also now I read the information so I say student I'm creating a constructor object then student info and here I say SID is equal to R dot form value 
and here I say form I will give the name SID then I will take name also r dot form value I will take the name name again uh, course r dot form value and I will take also course as a name once again the information is completed now I have to <coughs> send this information to my same form so I say temp dot execute w and I am passing uh, struct information as in a structure in different way because I have to confirm also so I am creating success success as a bool and I am creating here student as student info student info like this then after this I am going to pass the value first one is true and second one is student like this and I okay here I have to give the type only student info like this I'm passing the true for this and passing the student value this value to this and I save this <coughs> so information is saved and we are sending to the form also now I have to create a form here first of all just I design the form here and I say method is equal to post And I say action equal to root because we are defining a root there now I am just uh, taking here information I say h1 here student information like this and now I say uh, label for SID like I say student ID like this and I say input type equal to text I say name equal to SID because I have given the SID already like this now I can take BR here for line break like this now I just copy and paste this three time and in place of SID I say name in place of SID I say name in place of ID I say student name here in place of SID I say course and here I say course and here I say course okay now at the end I need input type submit like this and I say name equal to submit or I can say value equal to send so like this I just save this one also and uh, I say uh, div tag and ID for this is container like this and uh, I cut this and I paste this one here and uh, I will take uh, 
all HTML coding also so I say this enter and now I just put my code this one inside the HTML tag this one and I say this go form example and this container is ready website is ready I just save it and I go to my folder and I run this go run I say student info dot go I just allow this one and I open my browser I try to type localhost 00 and uh, this information is coming to time y so i see it code and ub submit okay save it again i run it again close it run it allow it and i refresh this why it coming two time okay here i'm putting some uh, restrictions also uh, i just modify this one i say uh, i'm sending information first of all this information I am sending here and now I try to check the conditions all the conditions student and here in code student info dot html everything is okay just I need to make some instructions for template I say if dot success success means the data i am sending here if you remember that i am sending a bool variable for checking this i am sending true while i am sending the information if this and then i say else under the else condition it will display otherwise i say here end like this i save it so like this and I inform if I click that welcome welcome you welcome with data like this save it again I try to run it now I try to refresh this you see the one one time is coming but welcome to data is also coming why first of all i run it i send it then welcome to data two time is displaying data why is coming two time so i have to close it also i say return like this save it Again, I try to run it again. Allow it. Now I try to run it again. You see, I done. Only one time is coming. If I send information, welcome with data is coming. Now I will send the data from here and the data will be displayed at the next. That is the task now. So what I have to do? So uh, the data I have to display. So data is SID name and course so I display information here in place of this I say your data student information R like this and I say here back in bold I say student SID 
student id like this i say that is dot uh, the name of that is student so i say student dot id like this and i say br tag here and i copy this one and i paste it three time here i say name here i say course here i say name here i say course remember that student dot sid and i am also using dot in front of this that is the way to use the structure like sid and this name is a student so student dot sid student dot name student dot course like this and we have to put the dot also so i save this one and i try to close it and run once again you see now i just run this website once again i type some data i say one i say my name i say this course mca send it you see data is coming here this information is displaying here so we can test once again also we can type here phd and i say id number two and i say name dr weapon kumar and send again you see once again data is coming so like this we can send data to the form also we can use form in go language in next video i am going to save this data in mysql then i will give you a complete demo of crud application in which i will show you how you can insert the data into mysql how you can display that information that data and how you can delete and update also so complete card application i will make my next video for that complete demo i will give you on that so if really you have learned something from this video kindly do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video